just seeing the way how it's blending it's blending like this nope hey guys what's going on and welcome to my channel so for today's video i'm going to be doing a review and a wear test of the very newly launched blue heavens high coverage foundation and the photo perfect full coverage concealer as well now if you are new to my channel i have an extremely oily greasy skin and i have a lot of pores bumps hyperpigmentation blemishes name it my skin is problematic so like any other foundation review i am not going to be using any primer or setting spray because i want to see how the foundation works on its own and i'm not going to use any highlighter as well because my skin will get shiny throughout the day so we are going to see how this foundation wears on my oily greasy ass skin and for foundation shade reference i am nc40 in mac now before we can get into the good stuff if you have not already then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it to notify whenever i upload and now let's jump right into the video so for both foundation and concealer i picked out two shades for myself now for the foundation i picked the lightest and the darkest shade just to see how they look so i picked out the shade 01 cream beige and 04 caramel mocha in the foundation and for the concealer i have picked out 02 caramel and 09 mocha so first let's talk about the claims of the foundation now it says that it's made of unique formula that contains light and dry emollients which help in high coverage and matte finish all day long while hiding the blemishes and correcting the age lines this foundation has a built-in primer which offers eight hours of wear and conceal to correct uneven skin surface it also has sunscreen to protect your skin from deadly uv rays so the claims are really high up there now the foundation is priced at 350 rupees for 46 grams of product now this is an introductory offer it says that the mrp is actually 500 rupees i do not know if 350 is the final and permanent pricing or will it change not so sure and it also comes with a 150 rupees worth complimentary beauty blender which is amazing and it has 46 grams of product like i mentioned that is a very good amount of product now let's talk about the description and the claims of the concealer now it says that it's a high coverage concealer in tube with applicator now it is a very good creamy texture glides on smoothly and it is used to mask dark circles and hide the spots on your skin now it is with a new formulation with a combination of moisture moisturizer and emollients with aqua now this is priced at 150 rupees for 16 ml of product and last but not the least is the most disappointing part which is the shade range because they offer only four shades for the foundation and the concealer so this is how the sponges look like and the smaller one is obviously the dry one it feels a bit firm and the wet one is really big and it's much more softer and uh, bouncier so i'm gonna quickly swatch on my face just to see the difference and the comparison so the first one right here is zero one cream beige and this is the foundation and next to it i'm just swatching is zero four mocha right yeah caramel mocha zero four so this is the lightest shade and this is the darkest shade and this is the MAC NC40 in my shade. And now moving to the concealer, this is 02 Caramel and this is 09 Mocha. Now my usual concealer that I use with Maybelline Fit Me, it is more like a highlighter kind of a shade. But that's what I have right now, which is 20 Sand. And this is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in C10. So yeah. So with the concealer, I think I'm going to go with 02 Caramel because it looks the closest to the Maybelline Fit Me one. Yeah. And with this one, I'm going to go with 01 cream beige the lightest shade in the foundation so i'm going to go in with one pump of the foundation first okay it's pretty thick and i don't know if this is one pump or not wait okay so i'm gonna go first duncan
so this is just one pump of the foundation i'm gonna go with another pump i feel this is not enough coverage let me apply this directly and see Now the shade blended into the perfect match to my skin which I was very skeptical about initially but at the same time it has given this nice natural finish it's not that super high coverage as it claims I feel it's more like a natural coverage and it's not tacky or sticky it feels really skin like at the same time I feel it has diminished my pores as well like I cannot see my pores prominently and I have not used any primer so that says a lot like over here you can see my pores wherein over here it has gone down drastically now the pump is very annoying So this is how the foundation is looking like on its own and now let's move on to the concealer. I'm not a big fan of the concealer. It is just like, wait. I'm just seeing the way how it's blending. It's blending like this. Nope. What is happening? Guys, the concealer is rubbing off. Like, it's not. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Are you guys seeing this? What is wrong with the concealer? It works better with the finger, but it does not... It still doesn't look that good. I don't know if you guys can see this. It looks so off. Let me try. Okay. Do you see the way how it's blending? It's it's moving. I do not like this concealer at all. I have never seen a concealer work this way. Are you guys able to see this? Wait. Okay, so are you guys able to see this weird patchiness? Um, like what? So it's basically grabbed on to the texture of my skin and it doesn't seem to be leaving it. Wonderful. I'm just using my Fit Me concealer just to savage this face because it's already really late. This is how concealer is supposed to blend using a sponge. <sighs> okay, so I have completed the rest of my makeup and this is how everything is looking like right now. And on the description box below, I will specify the products that I have used. Now, apart from the concealer sabotaging my makeup and my face, the foundation seemed to have worked perfectly well hand in hand with the other products. It blended seamlessly with the blush, the contour, the bronzer, loose powder, everything. It seemed to go really well. So this is how it is looking like right now.
So the time is about 6.26 p.m. and I will see you guys shortly for the first check-in. So the time right now is 11.11 11 p.m. which is awesome and it has been a little over, it's going to be about 5 hours and this is how the foundation is looking like right now which is not that bad at all. Like around my cheek area it does look a little dewy which is nice and uh, around my t-zone area which gets the oiliest the fastest is where it's looking a bit shiny but not that greasy or oily kind of a shiny it's just shiny now there is an area of concern and that is mainly because of the concealer now let me i don't know if you guys can see let me zoom you guys in more so around my nose region especially over here it is super super patchy and it feels like the product has moved about already and this little bit same around this area as well now i do not know how well the camera is picking it up but this area is extremely terrible and that is mainly because of the concealer and this is how dewy i'm looking right now at around five hours of mark and that too for a foundation that's worth 350 rupees that's a good sign so yeah that is it for the first check-in and i will see you guys soon for the last and final check-in so the time right now is 2.58 a.m. and it has been a little over 8, 8 and a half hours and this is how oily my skin is looking like right now. Now, do not mind how I am looking because I am so dead tired. It's almost 3 a.m. in the morning and uh, yeah. So you can see a lot of oil and shine peeking through the T-zone area, especially the cheek region. It is not exactly that super greasy, but it is kind of oily. Now, the nose area oh my god it looks just more worse i'll zoom you guys in so the nose area is the biggest concern because a lot of the product has actually moved out as well as has been clumped together and it just looks pretty awful up close like over here you can see the blemish i do not know how well the camera is picking it up but the sides of my nose looks terrible this side of my nose again looks pretty terrible i feel the culprit is the concealer and there's a little bit of patchiness over here up top and uh, that again is because of the concealer and a little bit of patchiness here as well so yeah so as always i'm going to use some blotting sheets just to see how well i could savage this makeup and remove the excess oil So two blotting sheets have been used and this is how the makeup is looking like right now now everything looks perfectly fine except for the nose region and the already patchiness just looks more patchy and dry right now so it just looks worse especially up close it looks much much more worse i'm not so sure how well the camera is picking that up but yeah so first let's talk about the pros and the cons first about the foundation now i have made a note of it i am super tired i do not want to miss any points so first pro is that it is super long lasting which really surprised me that uh, such an inexpensive foundation actually lasted this long on my oily skin so without any use of any primer and setting spray it had given a solid seven hours of a wear time which is pretty high and secondly it goes on smooth it blends really well as well as it gave this nice natural finish now for me i do not find this as a full coverage or a high coverage foundation as it claims i feel this gives like a natural coverage and it is extremely buildable like you could see i had applied two generous pumps of the foundation on one side on the other side again two pumps so that was like a lot but even then it did not look cakey at all and last but not the least is the quantity of product which is 46 grams of product and that is quite high because the standard amount of foundation that we get in the market is about 30 ml and this is 46 ml and obviously is the price point is another big pro which is only 350 rupees and this comes along with a beauty blender as well so that is like a great point 
and even after removing the oil i didn't even do any touch up or anything it still looks super fresh my pores still look really minimized i did zoom you guys in so you could see it yourself so i do really like this foundation a lot now moving on to the cons the first con has to be hands down the shade range it is only four shades and that is still super less i know that i used the lightest shade it did blend really well into my skin tone which is nc40 but even then i feel four shades the darkest shade is not dark enough and the second con is to do with the pump now the pump was super annoying you have to keep pumping pumping and pumping and it's just annoying now there are about two other points which is not like a pro or a con it's just like an fii the first one is the oxidization so this foundation does oxidize like compared to how it looked when i freshly applied it was a bit lighter on my face compared to my neck but then throughout the day as my oil started coming through it started oxidizing and it did actually match my skin tone perfectly and the second point is to do with the smell now if you have ever used any blue heaven face products it has the same powdery smell thank god it does not linger but it is there and that is that about the foundation now moving on to the concealer now that is a whole different story altogether i feel it is a huge hard pass and it's a huge dud as well because i tried blending it with the concealer it was just too patchy and even the brush did not work i tried reducing the amount of product that did not work i tried using my fingers it was kind of okay but then it was grabbing on to the texture of my skin and it just made it super super patchy and it was just a total no no for me even though it is only 150 rupees it claims to be high coverage i honestly did not like it at all you can get way better concealers out in the market but the foundation i really really do like it especially for the price point the kind of finish it gives even right now i think if i do go out which i'll not i can still make it work it still looks really good as if i had to use it with a primer and a setting spray i could have pushed the longevity for much more longer and even right now i did not do any touch up or anything i just took off the excess oil and it still looks fresh and good so yeah these were my thoughts about the blue heaven high coverage foundation as well as the photo perfect concealer i am so tired right now i am pulling an all-nighter and in a couple of hours i'm just gonna go to work i'm gonna have a lot of coffee and i have done this before which is unhealthy i know so do not do that so yeah this up today's video you guys i hope you all enjoyed it if you did do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it to notify whenever i upload as well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or requests i will try my best to do that for you as well as follow me on my socials which is isishanayar on instagram and isishanayar on twitter as well so until the next time take care bye